Hey guys, I'm going to read you a discussion that is pretty relevant to what I want to make this video about. It is happening in the Magic the Gathering Houston group right now, and it is about paying $5 for a to play. Now I'm just going to read you the comments and you guys let me know what you think. There's over a, you know, most of the time that Facebook group is relatively dead. And I think, I don't think I've ever seen one over a hundred comments. So I'm curious and I'm not trying to throw any local game store under the bus, but he eventually does name, I mean, he doesn't actually name the local game store, but he tells you where it's located, the address, like almost where it is. And you can figure out who it is. I mean, I know who it is. I'm curious, I'm not trying to throw any local game store under the bus, but what are your all's opinions about having to pay $5 at your local game store to sit down and play Commander and to receive a promo? Not spend $5 on anything to play and receive one, but spend $5 to play in FNM and receive a promo. I re really feel like this is a kind of egregious and try and charge players $5 for a possibly worthless card that from my understanding is given to the store for free. And um, now here are just some comments about it. It's a, it's a pretty uh, big thread. Are you expecting to show up and play for free and not buy anything? Try asking your friendly local game store owner how much they pay for electric, water, insurance, rent, etc or that they may exist in that space. Oh, who knows? Maybe they're saving money for new tables and chairs. Overall, sounds like you're having a problem with people showing up, spending hours in the store and not spending money. I let my customers play for free on Commander Nights, then give out random prizes based on how much has been spent through the night. Last Saturday, I gave out, okay, now they're just kind of self-promoting themselves. Um. Yeah, so the, the discussion is pretty, is this place by 2920 by chance? And then they say, it is close to 2920. <laughs> so they basically named the place. I have no issues with stores, this is another person, charging a table fee for groups to meet up and play. They are providing a service and often are not compensated in any way. Getting a promo on top of the play space is just a bonus and is not what you're paying for. If you are concerned, maybe bring that up to them, blah, blah, blah. I usually buy something. I rather do that than pay to play, but I get why they feel they need to do that, that or they're not getting enough sales. Depends, what is your average monthly spend at the local game store? A good local game star doesn't charge for the table because they are confident uh, in their pricing. Uh, we already went over, this is only magic. Pokemon would never have this issue. And the reason that magic has this issue is the players stay for, you know, they're playing commander. You understand they can be staying for four, six, eight, 12 hours even. And sometimes it extends past the store because you want them to finish their game or their complain and they're bullying the employee. So at given given time, this is a very different scenario. $5 may seem egregious, but let's look at their biggest sellers. Booster boxes, most places buy at 80, plus the distributor, 80 is not right. They're buying at 90, 93. Employees rent electricity. These businesses are not making hand over fist profit. For an F&M, where you get a promo to come use the space and cost you $5 or spend $5 on some packs, would be perfectly fine for me. So spending $5 on some items isn't the same as spend, paying $5 for F&M. If you pay $5 for F&M, that's per profit. If you're spending money on items, those items have a cost, right, basis. And some of the cost basis, you're gonna be, in magic especially, is a negative. You pay X and you have to fire sell it because it's not a set. Um, on Infinity is this way. Um, the, what's it called, Baldur's Gate is that way. I mean, people have to fire sell. Yeah, nah dog, uh, charging to play is BS. The reason why they should be hosting game nights at their store is to hopefully gain them as a customer. Charging to pay a card game at a local game store is charging for toilet paper at Taco Bell. Kiss my ass. So 
generally uh, speaking, majority of people don't even want to pay five dollars, and then they always make some excuse. Oh, I spend money out. You're, you're not. You're not doing. If you're so smitten on your five dollars to play the game, you know, F and M to use the facility, if you will. Like if you went to a gym, they charge you a monthly membership fee, right? They do. Uh, now do they upcharge you on smoothies and stuff? Yeah. But if you went bowling and maybe you're in a monthly bowling league, they charge you even a league fee. Like I, if you go to the movies, they charge you to watch the movie, you know, and to sit in the chair. It's not the chair is like that expensive or, I mean, this is a concept that I, I would, I would honestly, if you own a game store, I would drop magic completely. Because not only are you in a losing battle of Amazon, number one, Amazon is just eating your lunch every day. You don't know when the next big Amazon sale is or it's Rudy Chan to dump. Um, you have no idea. And at the end of the day, um, you cannot compete with Amazon. You cannot compete with TCG Player, who is owned by eBay. These are not things a, a physical game store with overhead can compete. Because a lot of these uh, online competitors, they're strictly online. So just like Rudy Chan, they don't have employees. Um, they might not even have, they might just have like a warehouse somewhere. Now, let me get to this topic and why it's so interesting to me. $5 is not a ton of money um, when you compare it to the time that you're going to be there. If you are going to play EDH, which this guy is going to play, um, you maybe it's five hours that you're spending that other people, the people that you don't know, it's kind of a place of gathering, magic the gathering. Well, if you spent five hours there, you'd be paying less than a dollar an hour for the overhead. And this is why I think magic players are no, they're not going to buy boxes. A person who's worried about $5 is also not going to buy, ever buy a box from you because they can buy from Amazon, right? They're the same people who say, oh, well, I can get it. On, and it's true. They can get it cheaper on Amazon because I buy my Street of New Compella box for $90, free. Amazon right now is selling for $72. Uh, free shipping, Prime, right before Christmas time. What, what do you want <laughs> what do you want me to say? Um, we are not competitive on singles either because there's always somebody somewhere online willing to sell it cheaper. Just given the volume of online sellers, this makes sense that your local game store will probably never be the cheapest on any particular single. And it will never have the selection of a card kingdom or something like that because they're just much bigger and they have a bit more cash flow to invest in their singles collect inventory. So I, the only way that you would support your game store, like the Pokemon players do, is because they want to continue to buy Pokemon packs. My, we sell Pokemon packs sleeved for $3. GameStop is doing $3. People still come to me to buy the sleeves. Why? Because I sell it, even when GameStop sells for, sells for 4 or $5, I still sell it for $3, so it's more convenience. But you do have to be price competitive. If I sold it for the same as Walmart, we wouldn't be, there would be no reason for people to buy from me than, than from Walmart. I mean, that's the reality because Walmart has the convenience element and pick up some you know, groceries and so on and it's all right on the register. Like, I agree that game stores do have to evolve and be more competitive, but I'm here to tell you there's some Magic players, particularly Magic the Gathering, which are negative EV for your store. And one of the things he continues to say is, oh, he has four more stores he can go to. And hey, man, like if it's that store's not for you and it's pissed you off, great. But only Magic the Gathering, you never see this in Pokemon, by the way, in the Pokemon community. Only Magic the Gathering does this guy feel the need to call out the store, right? He lists where it's located, he confirms the location. So even though you didn't say the store's name, there's only one store located in that area. When you say they're charging five dollars to play at F and M and get a promo, is there any other price support? Uh, if I understand this post, OP is upset he has to pay an entry fee to play in a sanctioned event. The five dollars is usually a shop killer or possibly a sure sign that they aren't doing well financially. Just happened locally here, aerated the group, the whole group player base. 
So if you have a whole group of people just like sitting in your store for eight hours and none of them want to pay five, none of them want to spend five dollars, you're you're losing a lot of money. You have the employee money, theft, right? I don't want to make any crazy claims, but I will say this. Um, Pokemon, there's a lot less theft right now. I mean, it's a lot better than Magic. Magic, there is a lot of theft. I usually just buy singles or a pack to play. I know what you mean. Uh, if you are doing this, then I feel they should also be taking direct ownership and responsibility on how much fun you're having. Feel free to pay the $5 and shop online. I've always paid $5 for f and and never had a second thought about it. It's a very insignificant cost that supports, yeah. I mean, this guy is gonna eat a McDonald's. He'll eat a Big Mac for $5, but he won't pay $5 to just sit, you know, and play. I mean, if you wanna play Magic at McDonald's, go ahead. Um, I'm not gonna stop you. I think $5 is more than fair to sit down at a table you didn't pay for in a building that you're not paying rent not pay the electricity bill, gas bill, pay checks, etc. You might think that the local game store brings in a ton of money, but I assure you it's the opposite. The $5 to supporting the store, keeping it open. Um, it seems like the, the people with the kids in their pictures, they kind of understand it. And the people who are maybe younger, they just don't get it. Why like $5, why F&M would cost $5 of the promo is not $5. It's for the overhead, uh, which includes employees, toilets. If you clog the toilet, it's a $300 fix probably. And it's tough, man. I'm not gonna cry about it because I already solved the problem. It's the same reason that Alpha Investment doesn't have any customers, physical customers that come to your store. He has the store for, I assume, distribution purposes, right? Man, when you deal with people like this, it's just, so aggravating and especially for me because I have a profitable business so spend, instead of spending time you know dealing with these individuals I can make more money in my marketing agency I can make more money an hour in my marketing agency than I can make in a month you know assuming this would make money right yuck man magic players are something else right they're very whiny they're very complainy and you know I, I just don't Paying $5 to spend maybe possibly as long as you want, right? Eight hours maybe, you go there at six, or maybe six, let's do six hours. You you leave work, you go there at six, you stay there until midnight closing, that's six hours. You pay $5 for that and you get a promo. I don't know what other entertainment you can do outside of having a, and the, the thing is having a play group in your home is more expensive. You tend to drink and eat better, they drink and eat your food, right? You, you open some packs that you probably shouldn't be opening in your collection to impress the, the casual play group. And at the end of the day, it is still your home, right? It is still your home. And it puts some type of risk of your collection, especially if you're inviting people you don't know. So in, in the game store scenario, it's a lot safer to meet people that maybe this is the first time you met them. Maybe, you know, you don't even know. You're just showing up and whoever shows up, shows up. Nobody's gonna do that for their personal home, but they did it for Magic, and, and no other card game expects that. Maybe Yu-Gi-Oh, but Yu-Gi-Oh, the large tournaments, they're like in malls and stuff, and it's rented as an event. So that's my understanding of Yu-Gi-Oh, is when you do regionals and larger events, you're renting it more like a convention type of style. So it's not really done at your local game store at that level. But even then, I think Yu-Gi-Oh players, they pay. They pay a lot better than Magic players. I mean, here we have a bunch of Magic players in Houston that won't even pay $5 to sit down and play FNM Commander. I get it. If $5 is a lot of money to you, then probably this is not the hobby for you. I'm sorry to say that. It is not a hobby where $5 goes really that far. And if you want to host, you know, what I would suggest is, hey, this guy should host his own. You know, if he thinks uh, everything's gonna be free, why don't you invite a bunch of random strangers into your home and uh, see what happens. I'm sure that it will be very, very awesome. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below, do you agree with me? I definitely had to bring out the, you know, very rarely do I actually read stuff you know, in advance, but I had to bring up that because it is uh, a big discussion to have as game stores lose more and more money from Amazon. 
Like I said, Amazon is a whammy, whammy, whammy. Like they're selling these boxes cheaper than by $18. If I could sell a box for $18 margins, I would be so happy over the moon. It's $18 cheaper than, than the price I'm getting at. Holy shit, man. It just, it just, uh, it's, it's mind numbing, honest to God. Like, you know, if I bought boxes as Streets of New Campana for 72 and I sold it for 90, which is my current distribution price, I would be so happy that $18 margin. So I'm, I'm kind of sick right now. I mean, it's, it's gross. Like it is gross. The Amazon right now, the dumps they're doing. My guys.